What's up everybody, welcome to the Sons of Seaver YouTube channel where there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. My name is Eric, and today my brother Chris and I are reviewing a piece of gear that we have never reviewed before. This is our first pair of clown shoes. Now as always, there's timestamps down in the description, so if you want to skip ahead to different parts of the video, feel free to do that. But Chris and I are going to ping pong back and forth talking about the different things we like and don't like about these shoes. I'm going to send it over to Chris now so that he can start us off. Kicking off my likes of the shoe, the first thing I need to mention is the width of the toe box. I'll bring up one of the other widest toe box that we've worked with. This is the Splay Slip-On and come on guys. This is clearly leading the industry when it comes to space for your toes to splay out. You're getting the truest barefoot experience with this shoe. I don't have calipers, but if I did, I'm sure they would tell me that the sole is probably a millimeter, maybe half a millimeter, ultimate ground feel and extreme flexibility. It seems to have a very thoughtful quality construction. I love the high ankle. That's gonna be great for lifting weights and all the other variables that we've already talked about when it comes to ground feel, flexibility, those kinds of things are gonna lend itself really well to running. I've put a lot of miles on these babies so far and they are showing a little bit of wear, but they feel just so fantastic. With all of our likes out of the way of this amazing groundbreaking shoe, I'm gonna pass things over to Eric to talk about what's probably our very, 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 very few dislikes. All right, so when it comes to my dislikes of the clown shoes, the first thing that I will say is that I feel like it's not very versatile. This is something that is gonna be very niche. It's gonna fit in really well at circuses, at carnivals, kids' birthday parties, maybe even a magic show. But outside of that, you're really not gonna get much use of it. We like a lot of versatile gear here at the Sons of Seaver, so for us, this really just doesn't cut it as something that we're going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis at all. I also think that one of the strengths that it has in that it is a very barefoot shoe, it's like there's nothing there at all with this material. That also means that its durability takes a really big hit. We couldn't really go hiking or running in these for very long before they just started to fall apart on us. So despite their extremely affordable price tag, these are not shoes that we would recommend it for you. I'm going to send it over to Chris so that he can close out the video. So here at the end of the video, before I give the outro, I want to talk about who we recommend this shoe for. We would highly recommend this for the entertainment professional who finds themselves consistently trying to cram into a small vehicle with multiple coworkers. This would be great for anybody who constantly asks the question, why so serious? You will love this shoe if you ever find yourself thinking, we all float down here. And last but not least, this would be a great shoe for you if you ever find yourself trying to thwart the plans of the Hamburglar. Folks, if you liked this video, we would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. If you like unboxing videos, especially unboxing videos of shoes, head over to our Instagram page. There is even, right now, a unboxing video of this shoe up on our Instagram. Happy April Fool's Day. We're glad you're here. We appreciate your view. And as always, we will catch you in the mountains.